Monhaven Art Center in Hendersonville has an amazing collection on display that folks are really loving. The artist's name should sound familiar, and after you see this story, you'll know why the beauty remains. Everywhere I turn, everything that I see, there are stories behind. This is the life that's within these paintings, the, the people that were in there, that were part of his life, and well, they're in a way part of mine. My name is Alexander Renoir. I'm the great-grandson of Pierre-Auguste Renoir. We are at the Mont Haven Cultural Arts Center. My honor to be here and displaying my work. I'm telling you, the walls right now are filled with the work of Alexander Renoir, and we just could not be happier. The history of it all is just so wonderful. Everyone should be able to come and see this great work, see where it originated, where the history, the lineage comes from. Alexander is a great talent in his own right. I mean, I grew up with it. It's the only last name I ever had. I knew that he was a, a driven and, and passionate individual, but to me, that. Everyone's got a crazy Aunt Susan that does something on the lawn. Mine just happens to be named Renoir. I paint for me, and it's completely and vastly different from what he did. And I do it because I love it. And if somebody else loves it as well, that brings me great joy, and it, it does me tremendous honor. I'm pretty much exclusive to oil paint. I like the, the colors and the brightness the, and the, the ways in which I can move it. And, keep moving it. And so with these, I have a maximum of four days in which I can still come back and play and manipulate and sculpt within the paint itself. One of the last things my great-grandfather said before he died was, it's a shame, I was just beginning to learn something. And for me, I take that to heart. You should always keep experimenting, always keep trying in something new and different. You'll see different styles, you know, even from here, which is larger, strokes on, on canvas to say these ones here, which are very tiny and, and exacting amounts of, of paint strokes. I have a very specific color palette. I have 17 colors that I use, and those 17 colors make everything. You learn what your paints can do. So for me, to get the, the variations of blue from these aquas to these, you know, royal purples and, 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 and thallo blues and stuff like that, to put them together and not have them wash themselves out, that, that takes a whole lot of practice. Impressionistic painting to me is wonderful because it incorporates the viewer as much as the artist. It is you, it's your mind, it's your eye, and it's what you have inside that is translated into the painting. I only paint 80% of it. It's your mind who paints the rest.